we're going to talk about three steps that you can do it yourself to check and see if you have prolapse. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. So I'm going to give you a little rundown on your pelvic floor and what exactly you're looking for. So here is your pelvis. If we look inside the pelvis, here is your bladder at the front, there's your uterus, and then there's your rectum at the back. I'm going to take these three things out. So they look, when they're inside, they're sitting like this inside. So here at the front, I have the bladder. This is our uterus at the very top, and then it goes down into the vagina. And then at the very back, here is your rectum. So a prolapse is when, can happen when your bladder, the walls of the bladder are falling into the walls of the vaginal canal. A uterine prolapse is when your uterus is starting to fall down into the vaginal canal. And a rectal prolapse is when the walls of your rectum are pushing into the walls of the vaginal canal. So now that we know what it is, let's check and see what are the three things we can do to check to confirm if you have one. So first thing is have a look. So if you're going to look, the best way to do is use a mirror. If you don't have a little mirror, you can always use your iPhone on the, switch it onto the camera part so it turns into a, um, a little mirror for you that way. Um, and so if you, you know, put, sometimes a good position is if you put, close the toilet lid, put the mirror on the top of the toilet lid, then you can kind of stand over top of it. Um, if we're looking down into the vagina, this way you can pull open here and you're going to have a look on the inside. So here is a picture here of what a normal vaginal opening should look like. Now this is a fairly significant prolapse. Um, and you can see what you'll see is the prolapse is kind of bulging to the opening of the vagina. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration here. I have a little ring and then I also have a teeny balloon. So this balloon is supposed to kind of show you the idea of the prolapse. So if I'm looking straight into the opening of the vagina, if my bulge looks like it's coming from behind or from the back, that is likely a rectal prolapse. If your bulge looks like it's poking out into the front, that is more likely a bladder prolapse. Um, if it looks like it's coming straight down, and sometimes it's hard to, to tell if it's taking up the whole opening, um, that is likely a uterine prolapse. Okay, so have a look and see if you can see anything. Um, the other thing you can try when you're looking is if you do a really teeny tiny gentle bear down, like you're bearing down to push out a toot or push out a bowel movement, um, that will typically drop your prolapse a little bit further. So you might start to see um, that that's kind of bulging down in towards the opening a little bit further. Um, like I said, this one is a, fair, a little bit more of a significant prolapse. Okay, the second thing you can do is feel. Um, so the best place to do this is actually in the shower, uh, but you can wash your hands and do it at any point as well. And so insert a finger into the vagina. So here is a picture here. Here is the vaginal opening. This is the uterus here. Here is your bladder, your urethra where we pee out of, and then here's your rectum at the back. So it's someone standing sideways. There's their tailbone, their bum, and then there's their uh, abdominals. So we stick a finger in and we're feeling, can we feel something bulging into the vagina? If it is your uterus, it typically feels like the tip of your nose. So straight, going straight inwards, it will typically feel like the tip of your nose that you're touching. Again, if you try that really gentle bear down, can you tell if it's, is it pushing from the front? Is, something, is, is tissue kind of pushing from the front? Is something pushing into from the back of your finger? Or is it pushing straight downwards into the vaginal canal? And so you can take note and that gives you an idea if the prolapse is starting to fall and or which direction it's coming from. Sometimes the um, frustrating thing is we might complain of these feelings to our physician 
um, and they might check us. And when they always check us out, we're always laying on our back. Now, the thing about prolapse is that gravity will take a toll on prolapse. So as you can see, right, things falling into the vaginal canal, it's going to fall a lot more if it's gravity driven or we're standing up. Um, as opposed to when we're actually lying on our back, that tends to tuck things back up a little bit better. Um, and so doctor goes in, they, mm, I don't feel anything, everything looks fine. Um, yet when we're standing, we've been more active towards the end of the day, we can feel these bulging symptoms. We can feel like there's a golf ball there, like something wants to fall out. Um, and that is sometimes the reason why we don't always get a clear answer. Okay, the third thing is we're gonna go by your symptoms. There are some people with a more severe falling prolapse, so it's come, it's falling down further, but have less symptoms versus someone whose prolapse is not actually falling as far, yet their symptoms are worse. So there's not always a telltale sign when we need help is it go by just how advanced the prolapse actually looks. We really also wanna go by your symptoms. So symptoms of prolapse is feeling heaviness or discomfort in your perineum or vaginal area and or your lower belly, um, even sometimes your lower back. So feeling of that heaviness or pulling or discomfort. Sensation of something wanting to fall out of our vagina. So sometimes, you know, standing for long periods, we've been on our feet and we just feel like something wants to, things wanna fall right out of there. Um, a sense of sensation of a golf ball in your vagina, feeling or seeing a bulge or lump coming out of the vagina, Having discomfort during intercourse is also a symptom. Uh, problems urinating. So sometimes feeling like you're not emptying fully or I empty my bladder, I stand up and then I dribble more pee. Those are also symptoms of having prolapse. Stress incontinence. So that means you're leaking a little bit of pee with something like a cough or sneeze or, or exercise like a jump or a run. Um, and typically our prolapse tends to feel worse after activity and better in the morning. And that just, again, goes with how much it's gonna fall with gravity, with us being on our feet, with us being more active, versus first thing in the morning when we've been laying horizontal all night, it tends to feel a little bit better. So, now what are we gonna do? Treatment for a prolapse, the first line of treatment, best success prolapse is exercise, pelvic floor, exercises. Now, are they those straight up Kegels that we've heard of forever and ever clenching our pelvic floor? We never know if we're going to be doing them right. Kegels have their place. It's, it's, Kegels is essentially an isolated contraction of your pelvic floor. Now, the problem with that being is our pelvic floor basically never works in isolation. Um, and also, we tend to feel that prolapse again when we're moving, when we've been on our feet. And so our exercises really need to match the demands of what we're doing all day. Um, and so laying in bed or sitting in the car and clenching our pelvic floor isn't going to do all that much in terms of that bulging, in terms of that heaviness that we feel. Um, and so your exercises really need to go above and beyond doing just Kegels. We need to add a little bit more to them. If you have more questions and want to know exactly what you should be doing with your pelvic floor going forward, if you do, you know, after trying these three tests, you really suspect that you have prolapse, um, come back, click on the link below and check out my absolutely free webinar where I'm going to go and I'm going to dive in. I'm going to go into a short uh, video about what prolapse exactly what it is um, and what you need to be doing about it to resolve it. So please check that out next um, and then also feel free to check out some of my other YouTube videos.